So a user asked me how to set the default theme to something different without having to use a USB stick at the PlayStation Classic and I told him I'd make a video about it so here it is. Of course you'll notice I don't have any box art or any of that fancy stuff at the moment. This is due to testing certain things and then the process destroying my regional database so I'll have to get around to fixing that later but that's besides the point. So to begin you'll want to have some sort of FTP software. I choose Smart FTP myself but there are some free popular alternatives such as FileZilla although I'm not entirely sure which ones support the deletion of symbolic links. Now in BleemSync 1.1 inside the USR theme folder Everything has been replaced with symbolic links for one reason or another, which is why I mentioned it. Also note to remove any USB devices with BleemSync data on it. This includes anything attached to your OTG cable, and also unplug the cords to the console, then plug the power and HDMI back in before attempting this mod. You'll notice that when you try to delete any data inside the USR folder that simply nothing will happen. At this point you'll need to SSH into the console so if you don't have a program for that you'll want to download something such as PuTTY to do so. Inside PuTTY go ahead and type 169.254.215.100 as the host name while making sure you're using port 22 and that SSH is marked below. Your username will be root and password left blank. From here type mount hyphen o remount rw space backslash or is that a forward slash I'm not sure that slash. This will allow you to delete, rename, or overwrite any files within this folder, so use extreme caution while editing any of these files. At this point, all you have to do is overwrite any of these files with the theme of your choice in the correct folders, restart, and your new default theme should be set. But since BleemSync 1.1 uses symbolic links and recovery scripts during every boot, I would imagine that once you use a USB device with BleemSync data on it, your theme will probably be overwritten with the old stock theme anyway, so you'll probably have to end up doing this again. But whatever, that's how it's done. So there you go.